Hi there. Now in this video, what I want to do is introduce you to three hyperbolic identities. These are common identities and you should see that there is some similarity to the equivalent trigonometric identities. And what I'm going to start off first of all is going to look at what cosh squared x minus shine squared x is identical to. And to do this, what I'm going to do, we we'll just say that it's identical to, and if we write down the exponential version for cosh x, remember that is e to the power x plus e to the power minus x, all divided by 2. So that's cosh x, and then we're going to square that, so we'll put brackets around all of that and square it. And then we're going to subtract shine squared x. And shine of x is e to the power x minus e to the power minus x, all divided by 2. And we're doing shine squared x, so again I'll put brackets around all of that and we'll square it. So if I expand the top line out here, e to the power x plus e to the minus x all squared, then I'm going to get e to the x times e to the x, which is e to the power 2x. And then I'm going to get twice the product. So e to the x times e to the minus x is plus 1. Double that and you get plus 2. And then I square the last term. e to the minus x all squared is plus e to the power minus 2x. And this will be over 2 squared, which is 4. And then we've got to subtract, and if I square out this bracket, we'll take the top first of all and square that out. We've got e to the x all squared, which is e to the power 2x. The product of the two terms here is minus 1. Double that, and you get minus 2. And then we square the last term here. Minus e to the minus x all squared is going to be plus e to the power minus 2x. And again, this is going to be all over 2 squared, which is 4. And simplifying this, well, we've got e to the power 2x minus e to the power 2x. That's 0. We've got 2 minus minus 2, which is 4. And then we've got e to the power minus 2x minus e to the power minus 2x. So that's 0. And this is all going to be over 4. So we've got 4 over 4 which is clearly the same as 1. So there's our identity. So essentially then it follows that from this result that what we've got is cosh squared x minus shine squared x is identical to 1. And you might think of this being very similar to cos squared x plus sine squared x is identical to 1 from the trigonometric identities. So there's a similarity there. Now I'm going to call this equation 1 and we're going to work with equation 1 now. What I want to do is divide, okay, we'll say divide equation 1 by, let's say, cos squared x and see what we get. So if we do that, we'll take our identity at the moment, cos squared x minus shine squared x. And we know that that's identical to 1. And so if I divide each of these terms by cos squared x, let's just do that. We'll divide this term by cos squared x, the next term by cos squared x and the last term then by cos squared x. So what does this come out to? Well, from this it follows that. What we've got is cos squared x divided by cos squared x. Well, that's 1. And then we've got minus and shine squared x over cos squared x. Well, that's tan squared x. So let's put that in. And this is going to be identical to 1 divided by cos squared x, which is sech squared x. Okay, sech squared x. And notice the similarity with this identity, with the trigonometric identity. 
which was 1 plus tan squared x equals sec squared x. So very similar again. Now you might have guessed what I'm going to do now. I'm going to take equation 1 again and I'm going to divide equation 1 this time by shine squared x. Okay, so let's just put the identity down again for number 1. That was cos squared x minus shine squared x and this was identical then to 1. And if I divide each of the three terms then by shine squared x, let's see what we get. Okay, just put these in, shine squared x there and shine squared x here. So what do we get then? Well it follows that what we have is cos squared x over shine squared x. Well that's cos squared x, so cos squared x. Then we've got the minus again. And shine squared x over shine squared x is 1. And this is going to be identical then to 1 over shine squared x, which is cosec squared x. And again, you might see that this resembles the trigonometric identity. Cot squared x plus 1 is identical to cosec squared x. So we've got these sign changes that have taken place. And I will go through a quick method that we can use. It's called Osborne's Rule in my next video. And once you learn Osborne's Rule, it's a very simple rule, you can see that we can derive many more identities from the trigonometric identities that we know without resorting to this exponential method. Okay?